That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid, you know, I almost... It's really two people, because it's, it's Elizabeth Warren and the DNC that are responsible for this Daily Dose of Stupid. But I almost don't even want to blame Warren. I almost want to put more of the blame on the DNC itself and the people that were scheduling this. So here's the story. And I think you'll see what I mean once you understand the details behind all of this. Elizabeth Warren, that's right, Pocahontas, was asked to speak at the Native American caucus last night. I swear I'm not making this up. This is not a Babylon Bee article. Don't kick me off Twitter. Like, I, this is a real, actual thing that happened last night. If you don't believe me, and I felt like I had to get a graphic because people would not believe that this was an actual thing because, I mean, nobody was watching the convention anyway. Yeah, so Elizabeth Warren just spoke at the DNC. Native. This, this is a thing that actually happened on Twitter. I swear, this is an actual thing. Do they not... One thing that has always astounded me about Democrats, I mean, always, there is such a gigantic lack of self-awareness. Did nobody think, um, could we maybe get somebody different to do this? That nobody caught this, really? Nobody thought, maybe we need to get another person that, you know, hasn't been pretending to be a Native American, even though they really weren't for, you know, 30 years? Did seriously nobody think to do this? <laughs> it's just astounding. My question is, it's a serious question, did you only speak for one 1,024th of the time that everybody else was. I felt that would have been appropriate, at least. The Democrats are just so completely devoid of self-awareness, though. And, and what's hilarious, again, th this is kind of like the last thing that we were talking about with Joe Biden. The, the issue here is not the standard that I hold myself to, even though with Joe Biden it actually kind of was. Um, but, but overall, the, the issue isn't so much even or the criticism doesn't originate necessarily even from my standard. It's their own stated standard that they completely ignore. Because we're told by the left, and I've, I've had people say this, that cultural appropriation is like one of the worst things that you can do. Cultural appropriation defined by them, like dressing like a Native American for Halloween, or wearing a Braves baseball cap. That according to a lot of people on the left, is cultural appropriation, it's horrible, it's insensitive. Uh, I've even heard some people, ridiculously enough, equate it to things like genocide and slavery, that cultural appropriation, slavery is just a more severe form of cultural appropriation. No, it's not. That's ridiculous. They removed them from their culture and wanted nothing to do with it. Now, it was still horrible, but that wasn't cultural appropriation. But this is the standard, the ridiculous thing that we're supposed to believe now is that cultural appropriation is some type of horrible, evil thing. Even when it's just people having a good time, like I said, with, with Halloween or a baseball team or something like that. And yet, Elizabeth Warren, who directly benefited and profited from in her personal life, claiming that she was a Native American, gets a pass. How does that happen? And the only explanation is because there is no greater privilege in America than being a white liberal. And Elizabeth Warren is very likely the whitest liberal that has ever lived. I mean, we know that she is incredibly white thanks to her genetic test. But anyway, it amazes me that they can't even see that this is something that would be a bit of a, that, that there would be bad optics on. How can they not see this truck coming towards them? So Elizabeth Warren goes out there, and, and remember, this is someone that directly profited off of this stuff. That Elizabeth Warren actually applied to Harvard and Penn under the guise of a Native American. Claimed she was Native American when she applied to them. 
Then on top of that, contributed a recipe to a Native American cookbook called Pow Wow Chow. No, I promise I'm not making this up. And did so under the guise of being a Cherokee. And actually, the funniest thing about that isn't even that she contributed to it under the guise of being a Native American. It turns out, after some research done later, she actually plagiarized the recipe from the New York Times. So she wasn't even Native American enough to know a Native American recipe to cook the food. That's how white she is. And perhaps most egregiously, because it was actually against the law to do this, she lied on her Texas state bar exam, claiming that she was a Native American when in fact she was not, which is actually a violation of Texas law to do so, because you're lying on the bar exam. That's, a, that's actually grounds for disbarment. And nothing happened to her as a result of it. The way that these people strain at a gnat and swallow a camel is absolutely astounding. They got no problem going after a high school senior posing in her prom dress, which happens to look somewhat like a Chinese dress, even though, you know, after some digging up, and this is a real story that happened, it turns out that the dress that she was wearing was actually one that the Chinese designed after getting influence from European dresses and, and fashion, that kind of thing. But, you know, without going into all that, uh, what's funny about all this is that they'll blow up over that and claim it's the most outrageous thing ever. They'll blow up over a bunch of college kids wearing sombreros at a Cinco de Mayo party and claim that they're evil and racist and they're, they're the equivalent to Nazis because they wear a sombrero and, and drink a margarita while eating chips and salsa on Cinco de Mayo. And Elizabeth Warren, who built her career at least partially, probably not entirely, I wouldn't say entirely, but at least partially under the guise and was introduced to people for years as like the first Native American law professor at Harvard, that she can do that and directly benefit from. Now, maybe she would have gotten those jobs or maybe she would have gotten into those schools without applying as a Native American. We don't know, but the point is she did. And that may have been a contributing factor to her getting in. She directly profited off of lying about her heritage. And that doesn't count as cultural appropriation. But the college kids, you know, wearing a sombrero or, uh, you know, carrying around a katana or something like that or, or wearing one of those big rice paddy hats, that's cultural appropriation and that needs to be shunned and, and we just need to go after those people and ruin their lives. But Elizabeth Warren can come within an eyelash of being president of the United States and we don't do anything to her for lying about her heritage for years. I mean, if that's not straining in a gnat and swallowing a camel, I don't know what it is. Ever wonder where Superman gets his incredible powers? Some people say it's the yellow sun of Earth, but I think it's because he subscribes to this channel and likes my videos. Now, I'm not saying that if you subscribe to my channel, you'll necessarily wake up tomorrow as a super strong, nearly invincible alien, but it definitely doesn't hurt your chances.